A programmable angle control can be added as an option when you purchase the FastCut model FR800 Bender, FR800C Bender Cutter Combo, or the FRH850 Bender. You must purchase this option together with the purchase of a new machine. It cannot be added later. To use the controller, first move the bend angle adjustment lever all the way over to the right. Move the stop against it and lock it in place. Now plug the controller into the jack on the side of the machine. Unplug the controller at any time to use the bend angle adjustment lever on the side of the machine to control the bend angle. When you plug the controller back in, just remember to move the angle adjustment lever all the way back over to the right and lock it in place. To begin, a preset value must be entered to calibrate the controller. The chart on the side of the machine gives you a starting point. For example, if you are bending half inch diameter bars over a 3 inch diameter die, start with a preset value of 27. Do this by pressing the down arrow once to highlight the preset line and then press the right or left arrows until you read 27. Then press the up arrow to put the controller back into run mode. To determine if the preset value needs further adjustment, we need to bend the test piece at 90 degrees. Press the down arrow twice to highlight the A1 line and use the right or left arrows to set the angle to 90. Holding the arrow down causes it to scroll faster. With A1 at 90, press the up arrow to put the controller back into run mode. Make sure the rest of the angles A2 through A6 are at zero. Now you can close the door on the controller and hang it back on the hook at the side of the machine. Make a test bend of half inch diameter bar over the three inch diameter die. If the bar is bent less than 90 degrees, increase the preset value. If the bar is bent more than 90 degrees, decrease the preset value. In this case, we are bending too much. So let's decrease the preset value by two degrees to 25 and try again. The next test bend comes out just right. The controller is now calibrated for this setup. If you change the setup by either switching bar size or using a different bending die, you will have to recalibrate the preset value for the new setup. Up to six angles can be entered into the controller in the order you will be bending them. For example, this part is made by bending four angles, 180 degrees, 90 degrees, then 90 degrees again, and finally 45 degrees. Use the arrows on the controller to put 180 in A1, 90 in A2, Ninety in A three, and forty five in A four. Lastly, press the up arrow to put the controller back into run mode. Close the door on the controller and hang it back on the side of the machine. Now make your part. The first time you press on the foot pedal, it bends 180 degrees. The second time you press on the foot pedal, it bends 90 degrees. The third time 90 degrees. 
and the fourth time, 45 degrees. After the last bend, the controller goes back to the start and is ready for the next part. It also counts one on the run line so you can keep track of how many parts you have made. For more information, go to www.fastcut.com.